Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about my natural hygiene products. I have switched over to chemical free products and I just wanted to share with you guys what I've been using. So if you guys are interested, please stay tuned. I've been on this journey of basically looking for brands that have less chemical or ingredients that I can understand, ingredients that make me feel good. I'm just trying to eat better, be healthier, put you know healthier things on my skin. So I feel like it's really important when we're putting all these products on our body that they are also beneficial for us and that they are natural. So the first thing I'm going to get into is toothpaste. So I've been switching from so many different brands when it comes to toothpaste. And one of the toothpastes that I really like is this Hello brand. And this is the Extra Refreshing Fluoride Free Toothpaste. And it has hemp seed oil and coconut oil in it. This is one of my favorite brands of, of toothpaste. I just really like how minty and refreshing it makes my mouth feel it whitens naturally moisturizes removes plaque it gives you the ultimate freshness never tested on animals no peroxides no dyes no artificial sweeteners no sulfates and no brainers so it's a natural fresh spearmint flavor and um even the box is eco-friendly and this is something that i also like when i'm buying products packaging is also something that we should be worried about because we're trying to save our planet and not continue to pollute our planet with with plastics and harmful you know packaging so this is a hundred percent recyclable and it's paperboard and printed with soy ink so yeah this is one of my favorite brands I also use I like this is my favorite flavor and this is another flavor I use I don't like it as much as the hemp seed and coconut flavor but this one is pretty cool too it's natural peppermint with tea tree oil and coconut oil the next toothpaste that I have is this Burt's Bees and this is their purely white fluoride toothpaste and it's Zen Peppermint if you guys can see this okay and it's not tested on animals no sodium lower sulfate and no parabens no artificial flavors and sweeteners no preservatives no blue red yellow dyes and no plastic microbeads obviously this box is also um, recyclable and yeah so my thing when it comes to toothpaste is I'm looking for anything that is fluoride free and has as many little ingredients as possible in it. So um, I do like Burt's and Bees products. I find their products to be more on the cleaner side. The next two I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is this Herbal Essential Toothpaste. And it looks like this. It's a five-in-one toothpaste and it has organic saffron, organic tea tree, organic aloe vera, organic ginger, and organic lemon. I've been using this for a while as well and I've been using another brand similar to this which is Neem, Neem Toothpaste and I don't have it with me right now but that's another toothpaste that I've been using and I currently stopped. I do like the more peppermint taste instead of the more like um, earthy taste so I do um, see that I do tend to buy toothpastes with more like peppermint. The next toothpaste I will share with you guys, I've been using it so it's kind of like all crushed up but it's this one, it's the Himalaya Botanica, I think that's how you say it. It's a whitening complete care toothpaste. It's um, whiter teeth, freshens breath, and helps remove plaque. It's fluoride free, sulfate free, carrageen free, I think that's how you say it, and gluten free. I purchased this from Bath and Body. I No, not Bath and Body. I purchased this from Bed Bath and Beyond, and I think it's about six bucks. All the toothpastes that I bought were like five six or seven bucks the other hello brands i bought them at target so i feel like um toothpaste sometimes could be more on the more expensive side like and anytime you're switching over from less chemicals and more natural things tend to be more expensive but that's just what it is like a bowl of salad be like ten dollars and then you can get a cheeseburger for a dollar so this is just what it is in america right now so the next thing i'm gonna talk about is um oil pulling so i use this organic triple filtered coconut oil from trader joe's you see everyone knows what coconut oil is you can use this all over your body i like to oil pull with it I haven't used it as frequently as frequently as I should, 
but um, from my experience coconut oil is great for your mouth for oil pulling it really helps with cavities yeah I just really enjoy this it makes your, your mouth feel really fresh so I just take like a little teaspoon of this with some warm water and I literally gargle with it for like a minute or like 30 seconds after I brush you can either do it before you brush your teeth or after you brush your teeth I prefer to do it after I brush my teeth and I like to do it mostly at night before I go to sleep or even during the day so twice a day if you can do this the next thing I have is this um, tongue scraper and it's pure copper it removes bacteria buildup gets rid of bad breath designed to last a lifetime I purchased this from Weatherman's I think it was about five bucks and um, this is how it looks I've always um, used like the plastic tongue scraper and to be honest um, I felt like after a while it was starting to like hurt my tongue because it's a little coarse and I've always been really afraid to use this because this looked really dangerous like it looked like it would hurt and honestly it feels like nothing on your tongue it's really gentle on your tongue and I like it because it saves the environment it's not plastic that we're putting back into the environment it's copper it's a natural material and um, literally you just after you brush your teeth or before you brush your teeth I like to go over my tongue with my toothbrush first and then I use this tongue scraper and I just start at the back and bring it down like that and just make sure you wash it and dry it really well um, it does say that it comes with instructions right here it says you can use your tongue cleaner before or after you brush your teeth rinse the tongue cleaner before and after each use start cleaning the back of your tongue and work your way forward scraper center backs and sides of your tongue rinse your mouth after cleaning your tongue the copper will naturally oxidize after one to two weeks of use this is normal and there's no need to remove the oxidization I would recommend everyone to get a tongue scraper it's a really great tool to freshen your breath and to remove buildup off your tongue if your toothbrush is not doing what it needs to be doing for face care I've been using this Acure brightening facial scrub and the brightening cleansing gel I purchased these at Target I get think they were like 10 to 13 dollars each this is the brightening gel I just started using this this one is really sensitive for my face I like it it's not harsh at all it has pomegranate blackberry and a and acai all it's for all skin types as well and yeah so these are the two new brand newest brands to my collection that I've been using and this is supposed to be a cleaner brand so I'll let you guys know how that works for me I make my own serum and oil for my face with a combination of like almond oil avocado oil Jehovah oil and other things of that sort with added essential oils and this is an oil that I make personally for my face and it works for my skin type um, I've gave this to my boyfriend I've gave one to my mom and they love it this is something that I am wanting to sell um, since everyone loves it it's really sensitive and gentle on the face and very moisturizing I like to put this on my face before bed and I like to use it during the day as well and I use it under my moisturizer or you can use it on top of your moisturizer and it smells really amazing really bomb and it has a great benefits for, like, for brightening and antibacterial properties and just very um, makes your face very supple not too greasy and just really smooth and it's great for the winter months so this is a serum that I personally make okay so I will be having this out to purchase very soon facial toner I purchased this from Walmart and this one is um, aloe vera formula lavender alcohol free and I love using toner after I wash my face it's great for toning your skin and removing excess dirt and makeup from after you wash your skin like I use little pads like reusable pads I know now they make like cloth um, reusable pads that you can just keep washing they're more, they're just envi more environmental friendly um, but for now I just use regular cotton pads and yeah I really like this toner so far it doesn't give me irritation to my skin so um, I think there's also a sensitive one for people with more sensitive skin and there's like cucumbers or different flavors um, this is my first time using this brand I usually use the Quinn's lavender um, toner or I usually try whatever toner I can find at Walmart anything that's like natural something that you know I am I align with so yeah next thing I use on my face is this Aztec um, 
Indian Healing Clay Mask and I use this with apple cider vinegar but I heard a lot of great things about this I've used this a full a few times and I like it sun dry no fragrances no animal testing no animal products no adjectives so it's just straight up clay from the earth so this is a great buy as well you can buy this at Walmart um, I believe Thrive Market carries it you can buy it at Target, Marshalls, just like anywhere. So this is everywhere and it's like 10 bucks. So this is a great buy. And I got this one at Walmart. Oh, I got this at, Wal at TJ Maxx for the price is still on it. I got this at TJ Maxx for $5.99. That's a deal and it's usually $10. So I be shopping at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls for the deals, girl, for the deals. The next product I use on my face is this rose water and glycerin um, spray. And ingredients is purified water, vegetable glycerin, and hydro central rose. So it's just a mist sprayer. Um, as you can see, girl, it's like almost done. I usually spray this on my face after I wash my face and then I apply my moisturizer. It gives you a really cooling, brightening feeling and I love it. I also, this is why it's almost done. I usually spray this in my hair when I'm detangling my hair. Now we're going to move on to deodorants, okay? And this is my favorite topic. Now, off bat, I'm going to say... Um, finding a deodorant that works for me has been trial and error. I've used almost every and any <laughs> natural deodorant that I could find, and a lot of them have not worked for me. I've used the Smith's brand. I use, girl, I use all the brands, okay? Now, this is the only thing I would say that works for me is a freaking lime, okay? This is an alkaline key lime, and apply this to your pits, and this has worked for me. Now, you can use things like coconut oil, baking soda. Baking soda is not recommended by Dr. Sabian. I also heard that applying um, apple cider vinegar is beneficial for removing odors from under your arm. So I do use limes. Um, I know limes might not be convenient for everybody because it's like, oh, who's walking around with a lime all day? But um, literally, I just cut them up, put, um, store them in like a little zip, zippy bag and I just apply it under my arm and I make sure to squeeze the juice. Make sure the one that you're using for your arm when you're storing it back into your fridge that you keep it separated from your limes or foods that you're going to be eating so no one consumes a lime that you were wiping under your arm. So that's why I keep it separated. And I know that's not always convenient for everyone, but I do recommend a lime. I feel like it's the most natural thing. If you don't have a lime, I guess you can use lemon. But if you had just shaved, please do not use the lime or lemon after shaving. You will be burning under there. And also, I do want to say, when you're switching over to these natural products, a lot of these things will not have the strong, fragrant smell. So you will not be smelling as wonderful. But honestly, if you're changing your diet, eating the way you're supposed to be eating, reducing your your meat intake these natural products will start to work with your body's chemistry and you will start to smell better so a lot of these products at first you're going to be like mm, girl i stink or i'm sweating and oh my god because a lot of ingredients in these deodorants stop you from sweating or blocking your natural odor from coming through now i've tried this crystal deodorant 24 hours it has no aluminum no parabens free and hypoallergenic and it's made with essential oils. A lot of people recommend this and said it works. It don't work for me. I'm going to just tell you right now. It does not work for me. I don't know. Um, another thing with natural deodorants, you're going to have to be applying them all day. So when I have my natural deodorants, I also carry with me. I carry the deodorant with me throughout the day. And I also carry baby wipes. So I can wipe my arm throughout the day and reapply the deodorant. Okay, this is the native brand I've been using and I purchased this from Target. You can get this almost at any store. And this is the Jasmine Insider Paraben Free Aluminum Free. And this one is a eucalyptus and mint. These work for a little bit and then you have to reapply. So they don't completely work for me. I might stop buying native. It's kind of expensive. It's like 13 14 15 dollars depending on where you're buying it from so <laughs> it's so crazy because as you start getting more natural the prices are just going up baby it's just, it's just really going up so like about that deodorant, I mean, they also have the the travel size one which is really convenient because i travel a lot i have a bunch of these little mini ones i keep one in my car one in my purse so i could always continue to um, reapply them throughout the day the last deodorant i'm going to share with you guys is this Love Beauty and Planet deodorant. This don't work for me. 
I will have to apply this about five times for this to work. Like, it just doesn't work. So, um, it might work for you, but just the application of continuously putting it on gets annoying after a while. So, this doesn't work for me. The Bronner's Body Wash. This is the Hemp Rose 18 in 1 Hemp Rose Pure Castle Soap. And everyone knows this one. This is the 18 in 1 Hemp Peppermint Soap. Um, this one is really, really um <laughs> refreshing really minty on your body i really enjoy the smell of this one i've used almost all of them before and basically you can use castle soap for anything so i use it to wash my hands you can use it to wash your hair you can use it to wash your pets you can use it for your laundry on your body on your face i love this stuff but i would say that um try not to put this stuff near your vaginal area it will burn um, and might cause irritation and disrupt your pH balance. I don't know if it's the fragrance in it, but um, try to keep this away from that area. I've used the Dr. Bronner's in my laundry um, as well. That's something you guys can try if you guys are trying to find chemical free laundry detergents. I know they're really expensive. So, Dr. Bronner's soaps are pretty expensive too. Depending on where you get them, you can get them from Target, you can get them from Marshalls, you can get them from CVS, you can buy them at Thrive Market, you can get them from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has them for 12 bucks. Target, Walmart has them for like 15 bucks. The smaller one for 10. And it's crazy because when I was in Japan, I used to get the smaller bottle. This one is the 32, 32 ounces. I think the one in Japan, I got the 16 ounce bottle and I would get the cherry blossom flavor. They don't make cherry blossom here in America, but they have it in Japan and it smells wonderful. I don't know why. I guess they discontinued it or maybe it's only an exclusive scent for Japan. But if you guys get your hands on the Dr. Bronner's um, cherry blossom soap, it smells wonderful. Another soap that I do use is this um, African raw black soap and this one's from West Africa. It's 100% um, vegetable based. Now I've been using black soap since I was young and um, there's different kinds of black soap, different imitations of black soap and this is the raw kind. This is how it looks. It looks like mashed up raisins and the um, its ingredient is Water, cocoa pod ash, plantain skin, ash, palm oil. But I find like this is kind of harsh for my skin. So if you have sensitive skin, maybe raw African black soap isn't for you. A lot of people swear by this soap. It just, I don't know, it gives me some irritation on my skin. So when I use it, I only use it on certain areas of my skin. For my body, I, use, I usually use shea butter or I use cocoa butter. Now this is the raw um, cocoa butter. 100% cocoa butter and I buy this where I buy like my incense and my two and my um my herbal toothpaste and it's just like chunks of it smells so good of cocoa butter and I make body butter so I'll be also um this will be up for purchase as well my body butters and I'll show you guys how I make them and I literally just melt them down and I add different oils like grapeseed oil almond oil jojoba oil I add and I infuse herbs in them and um, different essential oils as well and this is how I just keep myself moisturized so I really recommend yeah you can buy um, your like shea butter pre whipped already or you can just buy it raw and make your own DIY lotions and butters for your skin and then I also use this rosehip oil on my face um, I usually use this throughout the day and I apply it to my face and skin I'm mean, I apply it to my skin and my hair and it says it's made with 100% natu natural tip skin hair and skin and hair serum with vitamin A, C and omegas 6 and yeah and also be careful with these oils um, I know when you buy a lot of these oils they have like a mixture of soybean oil and I try to I literally try not to get anything that has soy in it and this one just has rosehip oil and sweet almond oil to add it to it and that's what I use on my face on my skin on my hair and um, my, my skin and my hair loves this stuff so the product that I use is this let me just open it for you guys is this um, whipped shea butter as you can see like we've been dipping in here and I use this like all over my body and on my hair and this is already pre-whipped. It's African shea butter. It's 100% natural, creamy and soft. 
it dries skin, eczema, minor burns, pain relief from swelling and arthritis, impro improves muscles, relaxation, stiffness. It's a sunscreen due to its rich potency of vitamin E and D. It treats dark spots, skin discoloration, stretch marks, wrinkles, and blemishes. It's great for massages, diaper rashes, and as a hair conditioner. I use this stuff after I wash my hair as well. When my hair is wet, I apply it to my hair, and it makes my hair so soft and manageable, and just my curls be popping. So I would recommend putting this on your on your hair as well as your body, and adding it to your body butters as well. So, um, but I just use the raw shea butter to add to my butters, and this pre ripped one I just use it as is on my body. The next thing I use on my skin are these like body scrubs that I make. This is my brown sugar body scrub and this is my pie crust body scrub. And I make them myself with like sugars and I sell them as well. And I have some like oatmeal in it but I've been using it that's why it looks a little you know whatever. And then this one is pie crust. It smells so delicious. And I have these for purchase as well. This one, I make it a little more sensitive for my boyfriend's skin. I grind up the sugars more finely. And I put, like, oils and essential oils in it to, you know, help with, like, dry, rough skin. So I use that on my hands, on my lips, on my whole body. And it makes my skin feel really moisturized and supple. And I love it. The next thing I use to like for fragrance and everything, instead of using like harsh perfumes, I use body oils. This is my favorite body oil. This one is Golden Sand, and I love this stuff. This is like my original scent. Like when you smell this, you think of me, okay? And then I use like different essential oils. Like I have an essential oils pack, and I use essential oils for like aromatherapy with my diffuser. I use essential oils in my little essential oil necklace here to keep me feeling calm. Like I'll add like lavender in there and I use my essential oils not only for my diffuser and for my chain but I also use them to smell good throughout the day or like for headaches like tea tree oil is great for your skin so I could add these um, essential oils to like my shampoos to my body oils and what have you and just to smell great this is just a natural way to smell great and great for aromatherapy so yeah with a money resides with a money resides with a money resides with a money resides so yeah thank you guys again for tuning in um please share this video with your friends and your family subscribe to my channel to support your sister and become a part of the soul family collective i hope i shared some well-needed knowledge with you guys on some products you guys can use and add to your hygiene regimen and thank you guys for rocking with me yes and yeah like this video comment below for um more videos like this and let me know products that you guys are using any suggestions any recommendations you know start a little chat in the forum below and yeah see you guys in my next video peace and love deuces